Hola, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get right into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month remaining of March going into April. All right, your first card here is the Hermit card. So I see you guys uh, being very reflective. Um, perhaps being more surrounded by being in your home, uh, very seclusive type of energy. Now, the current influence or the obstacle that you're currently dealing with is your own card, uh, Cancer. You have the Queen of Cups. So I feel that feelings or being too much in your feelings could become an issue for the remaining of the month or going into the beginning of April. Um, now, your next card here is the lover's card. So, okay, so for some of you guys, uh, those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, I feel that you're very, like I said, very into yourself, introspecting, um, having like a in type of dialogue between yourself and your consciousness. Um, you could be very over emotional and i feel that for some of you guys you've already been experiencing this with the lover's card though i feel that for some of you guys um it's almost like you're kind of what's the word i'm looking for you're kind of dealing with being too much in your feelings that it's very difficult for you to express yourself in a positive way if as an example if your partner rubs you the wrong way um, you may be lashing out or overreacting only because you're so emotional right now, Cancer. Now, uh, for some of you guys, it could be the feeling of being overly over the top, um, even possessive for some of you guys, or experiencing like some type of jealousy, uh, wanting to, um, kind of smother your partner and what they're telling you here is that the only one that's getting in your way right now, Cancer, is yourself. So for those of you guys that are single and you were dealing with someone, I feel that any minute issue or misunderstanding that you may have uh, may push you to want to push them uh, or exhibit um, passive aggressive type of energy. So for some of you guys, it could be pushing the envelope to see how far your partner is letting you slide with certain things. Uh, for others of you, it could just be pushing them out uh, like uh, toxic type of energy, like uh, testing them, uh, playing mind games, anything like that. I feel that the reason for it is because you feel very emotional, because you feel that you got to protect yourself or you're to the point where you're tired of people taking advantage of you. So what you do as a me uh, defensive mechanism is test people or push them to their limit. But this is not really helping you, Cancer, because what you're doing is you're pretty much making them feel like they are, like they're, like they don't have room to breathe, like they got to walk on eggshells, like they can't be themselves and everything is upsetting you. So again, I feel that you're doing it out of fear, some type of fear um, but what you're really doing is you're actually pushing them away. So when you get to that point, or if you got to that point already, Cancer, you can't really ask, why aren't they trying to fix the relationship? Why aren't they doing this or doing that? Because you've kind of pushed them to their limit. Um, so again, this could be vice versa. It is a general reading. Now, yeah, see, I, I have the four of swords here. So someone is definitely feeling smothered or feeling like they're walking on eggshells and what's on their mind is the need to disconnect or the need to create some type of distance between you and them um and this could be you as well cancer because like i said it is a general reading um but i feel that someone is definitely like wanting some time apart wanting some time to themselves and it's almost like the reason for that is because of past behavior or constant past behavior. Now, what's coming towards you is the Queen of Wands. So for some of you guys dealing with fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, um, 
Aries type of energy. But this can also represent for some of you guys, uh, you got to be more in control or you got to have more faith in yourself, Cancer. Um, so here's the thing. A lot of the times when we feel insecure about certain issues, sometimes it gets to the point where we kind of test people and the more we test them or the more the more they bite into that bait, it's kind of like reassuring to us like, oh yeah, they must care. But that's not the way to go about it when it comes to love because people do get tired and they will get tired. So again, it's about working on your self-cancer to build up that confidence or that trust in yourself. Only then will you be able to Believing in yourself and having confidence in yourself or faith in yourself only then renders you the possibility to have trust in others or to put trust in others. And I feel that there's lack of that. So for some of you guys, it could be dealing with that type of energy and it's like it's very destructive type of energy. So again, my advice to you guys is really take a step back and analyze how you've been reacting or how you treat other people and what you expect them how you expect them to react and is it based on reality or is it just you hoping that they continuously keep dealing with your bullshit and still want to be around you um because there is some type of separation or need for separation i do see that unfolding if you continue on this path and this like i said this could be your partner doing this to you but I ultimately do see some type of time away or separation only because there is a need uh, to cut that cord or to step away from this toxic behavior. Now, the next card, yeah, the next card here is the devil card. So, like I said, someone is definitely bringing out toxic type of vibes. Um, passive aggressiveness is something very strong in this reading. So, if you're currently experiencing a partner that is hot and cold, keeps coming back, um, testing you, and you keep accepting them, they're going to continue treating you this way. Because that to them is reassuring and it, it makes them feel like they're valuable or like they are worth all this struggle. When really what they're saying is it's mind games. It's a person that is very passive aggressive or is a person that doesn't really have confidence in themselves and only by breaking other people down can they make themselves feel better. So if you are dealing with this cancer, cut that shit out. Give them the space or take a step back from the relationship. Work on your healing because people that tend to do this type of energy or this type of action can only ultimately make other people feel belittled and then the more you put up with nonsense, the more you deal with that type of energy, the more uh, you're not really valuing yourself. You know, your self-worth starts to crumble. It starts to come down. And it's all because of mind games. It's all because it, it's for some people, it's a game. You know, it's a game to to know that they can walk out of your life and then come back whenever they want and you know, try to get back into your life. And the more you allow them, the more you're letting them know, hey, continue to treat me this way. Okay. Now your next card here is the three of swords. So like I said, if you're dealing with this type of energy where they're hot and cold, they're playing mind games, uh, they're very passive aggressive. My suggestion to you is step away from this. You don't need this. Uh, with the devil card and the three of swords, definitely very toxic type of energy. Now this could be vice versa. This could be you doing this to the partner. Um, but again, understand cancer that people do get tired of this. And it, it it's not, it has nothing to do with them. It has more to do with you, the way you treat other people. So if this is something that you're dealing with, just know that they will get tired of that. And they're getting to the point of being pushed enough that they're no longer going to want to come back around. Okay. So I hope this helps you in some shape, way, or form. And um, go ahead and like, comment, and uh, share this video. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.